My name is Trisha Lockwood. I reside in Vaughan, New Jersey. I'm actually going to be um, uh, critiquing. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> I actually try to do this video like so many times, like in the last, uh, well, I guess since the, basically since around the same time they put this guy up there, um, I got interrupted uh, and uh, with other works and things like that or whatever. Um, I did, I think, do uh, a video on that. Uh, I just want to um, record this on. Um, Section. I'm actually going to record his profile first, actually, real quick. Um, this is so-called Dr. Uh, Mark Farnham, um, PhD. Just want to let you know, this is at a church called Faith Bible Church, who actually committed hate crimes against me, slandering me, bullying me, and bullied me out of their church. Well, because of my Christian beliefs, um... Uh, of faith that is actually against and proved wrong their false doctrines, by the way. Um, just want to let you know, when I do, let me just record, let me record his profile real quick. So I'm coming against a false Christian who is uh, deemed to be a professor at Pennsylvania College. So uh, I wouldn't doubt that they actually put this guy um, in there deliberately to basically uh, mislead and uh, 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 misteach, I guess, anybody who is interested in basically um, Christian theological, biblical um, education, if you will. <laughs> you know, so um, I'm going to record. Let me just record the profile real quick. Okay. All right. So apparently there's these um the these people going around carrying these um um doctrines degrees and PhDs uh from these um bogus college seminars or whatever. Uh miss uh, uh, falsely teaching the Bible. Now, this is the thing. When I do critique um, his false teachings, I'm actually going to use basic, probably elementary school level um, uh, common sense. Okay? Um, I'm not saying... <clears throat> we'll, we'll say on a degree, maybe sixth graders or whatever. And we're not, we're not going to sit, you know, look, you know, uh, look, children going through school, their, their focal, their focus point of what they obtain in information, things like that is going to be different. And some are going to be stronger in area, other areas, uh, some areas and other. So, I mean, y your child can be highly intelligent and not be able to, um, correct this, but I guarantee you that there could be easily found. And I, I'm not talking about, um, children who, have are highly advanced where they're like you know um like like 10 12 years old and they're ready for college already okay we're basically talking about uh basic level um that has you know an interest which would be um a more um absorption of this um a subject matter so um or, or the subject matter that's going to be uh, presented is the issue on science by the way um i've actually had many debates online with atheists and uh churchians who falsely claim to be christian um who basically try to pit uh religion against science okay and um <laughs> the thing is is um I mean, this guy, he doesn't even use basic common sense. Uh, he is boasted in, this false teacher, by the way, who is not Christian, is boasted in by my persecutor, a uh, false pastor, Jason Palmer. I just want to let you know that Christianity is, in fact, and can only be truth uh, of God's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay, and Christianity cannot be uh, your own false opinions, your lies, your your false knowledge, or whatever the case may be. Um, it, Christianity is simply good against evil, right against wrong, true knowledge against false knowledge. It's that simple. Okay, so if it's false knowledge, it's not Christian. Okay, so you know they're they're claiming to be biblical. They're claiming to be um. Teaching the gospel, the gospel can only be true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay, that sanctifies in truth. So, um, this guy claims that, oh, no, he's not against science, 
right? But uses a lot of false knowledge that is against science. Like, you know, he'll sit there and like, oh, I'm grateful for science because I had these surgeries. I am grateful that, you know, they helped me, you know, with this matter, this matter, this matter, whatever the case may be, whatever his surgery is. He does list it, talk about it, but we're not going to make that our focal point. Um, so the thing is, I basically, um, get harassed and slandered, um, by people like this. Uh, I'm not going to say particularly him, but the, the people like, um, uh, Jason Palmer. And I was actually harassed and slandered, um, by their other main false, uh, cult, antichrist cult leader, uh, Paul Barreca. Um, and I was actually excommunicated out of their, out of their, uh, uh, faithless biblical, uh, church. Okay. So, um, the thing is, is that, um, I'm actually going to be recording, uh, this guy. And like I said, he's a, he's a pro professor. Um, and he, he makes very, uh, haughty, arrogant statements. Um, it's interesting. These people call me arrogant for basically teaching knowledge. I obtain knowledge and insight and speak by knowledge and insight simply because I'm humble and I listen for the truth. And, uh, well, I can be, uh, taught now. I'm not really taught by a lot of things of, I hardly accept anything of their teachings. There's few that I can actually agree with, um, because they, I mean, they, 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 uh, they are just, I mean, it's unbelievable how ignorant they are. And it's not the end thing is, uh, please don't compare that, reflect that to, um, that of what Christianity is. And that's a problem. They, 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 uh, covering officials and, uh, these false, uh, subculture, uh, societies. Um, I mean, they heap up for themselves, their own teachers, if you will. Um, so yeah, that is pulled out. Timothy, Timothy is a self letter, by the way, but it is, it's basically also reflected in the, the book of Peter. Uh, I forget exactly how it's worded, the same thing. So um, that's the easiest way to say it. So that statement is truth, and it's obvious that they do, they do this. Um, that's actually spoken against um, uh, in uh, what is deemed as the Old Testament scriptures. Um, I don't believe in dividing uh, that uh, between the Old Testament scriptures and New Testament. That's why I always quote it, even in my writings. I, I don't think I've always have. I mean, it's just getting particular on that every time it can get tiring. So anyway, um, the thing is I actually, um, I, I just want to bring this because it's going to be brought up. Um, I'm trying to open it. Hold on. Okay. So, um, all right. It's actually shared on my page, but this is actually, um, uh, my writing. Um, oh, let me just refresh this because it's kind of out of line. All right. So, um, this is on one of my Facebook pages, but, uh, actually particularly made this in regards to, uh, speaking against the false Christians that come into these so-called debate groups. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my gosh. I, I have COVID by the way. Yes, I just got tested positive today and, um, yeah, I'm really scared. My brain's actually kind of, um, fuzzy so um <laughs> uh, I don't feel well and um I'm not exactly having symptoms cold I have this weird uh I don't know I'm gonna go on anyway so um yeah, I'm going to record this real quick, okay? So I actually made this, and I actually want to point out, yes, I did take the green from the leaf. I like doing that, and it looks kind of cute or whatever. Okay, but I want to I want to put this, uh, make it a point. You know what? I'm trying to get my pointer here. Hold on. Okay, make it a point that um, conscience and science which is basically something that was originally identified by me. I'm sure it was known. It's not particularly written out that way, um, but I had to find and go through the roots of like conscious and science because one thing I noticed that they have the same word in it. And yes, in fact, they are basically of the same meaning, conscience and science. You, you won't really find people relating it to, together or whatever. But I had to do that, um, especially teaching atheists. And what I teach is actually yes is unique and my teachings and my commentary civil commentary are original but um i actually uh use this particular proverb uh for a number of years i think it's funny <laughs> but um yeah, especially against, you know, lazy people or um when people sit there and try to speak against science and things like that. Um 
you know, and I originally apply it uh, the way the way I apply scripture and use scripture is original. So I didn't I'm not I didn't learn it from these churches or anything. I do uh, use a, a, a sense of uh, verses uh, that I have selected. You know, there's a lot of people who cookie cut like the same uh, verses and they'll just apply it to anything without even lining it up or whatever. Um, so the thing is they memorize the same things. Um, and it basically, you know what it, it's, um, why do I want to go on? So, uh, yeah, I have, uh, <laughs> for instance, I just love, <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. I've been using this, um, um, I think, the, um, I'm not sure exactly. I, I'm going to roughly say about 10 years or whatever. And I remember that. I mean, I've, I've, I was, uh, I remember it from reading cause it was funny, but I, the first time I used it is actually against a fraudulent Pentecostal trying to pit actually faith, not only against religion, but faith against science also. And I'm just like, well, even uh, God said, learn from the aunt, aunt you slugger, consider her ways and be why. Actually, I had a little character. I'm like, I said, how do I say it? Okay. I'm like, um, yeah, well, God's uh, Godded people. Uh, I said, science is of God. I said, even God said, um, uh, learn from the ant, you slugger, consider her ways and be wise. <laughs> I'm like, look, I have more character in my expression when I say something, when I'm connected to the person and it's basically just, you know, naturally done or spiritually, if you will. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go on. Anyway, so I'm going to record this real quick. Okay. So, Yeah. So it sort of, it, I mean, well, it sort of, it does. It reflects, um, uh, it gives a summary for those who can look it up. I mean, people can, um, and Jesus' reflection of, you know, using, um, agriculture and things of science to reflect, uh, uh, earthly natural things to reflect spiritual things. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, of course I was speaking against on top of that, um, of this pick is, you know, um, basically people speak against science and, um, that he tries to pit religion against science. So I'm basically reflecting the conscience, uh, the laws of the good conscience and, and science can be compatible. So they're not some, uh, you know, two separate uh things so um trying to um okay so i'm actually going to i'm gonna try to put this in in this video as soon as possible uh, i wound up putting things at the end so um so the, yeah this is um uh, a false professor, uh, Mark Farnham. Um, I, I don't know how these people get into colleges, by the way. Um, but they do not reflect Christianity whatsoever. Christianity has nothing to do with this ignorance. Um, but the thing is, the, 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 the false pastor that basically was of the cult that persecuted me out, by the way, um, they are... Um, uh, boasting in this person who is a false teacher like themselves and basically um, makes up all kinds of slanderous lies to bury me for my intelli for my theological insightful intelligence by the way um, because while well, I expose them and they're more concerned about being the dominant lorded lorded over others lorded over others um, and they'll claim it. They don't. They'll pretend they'll speak against those who lord over others or whatever. Um, so that's what actually they do as they keep the people ignorant and lie to them and deceive them and things like that. So um, the thing is, is that, yeah, they actually um, try to um, they're trying to find a ways to justify how they committed crimes against me and slandered me um, and justifying how they don't need to make amends or apologize for the sins they committed against me. So and um, they continue to twist the Bible to justify their evils. And they're going around sitting there saying, once saved, always saved. Well, Jason Parma, you were never saved. OK, so um, anyway, I'm going to go on. Um, yeah. So. Um, so this guy doesn't even can't even line up with common sense. Just wants to know faith. They go around claiming oh, because they believe it and because they claim God and Jesus and these certain uh, well false doctrines actually that they all share. Oh, they're all of faith, and that's absolutely not true. So um, I'm gonna go on. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to uh, record this. Um, 
like I said, look, look, it's not really a challenge. It's not like, okay, yes, I am. Uh, I do have a high theological, uh, intellectual insight because my mind is sanctified by God. Um, uh, blessed by God, sanctified by God. Um, and, um, so the thing is, is that, um, yeah, you know what? We're just going to go on. Let's go on. So, um, oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Bluetooth. Okay. God. Notice this quote, clicks in hundreds. I'm so thankful for science. And yet this narrative out there says science. And then a few years ago, because of my suppressed immune system from the transplant, I got a brain tumor and cancer all in the space of a month. It is science that has kept me alive. So I'm not against science at all. I'm so thankful for science. And yet this narrative out there says science will only ever improve our lives. And you know what they've done? When they talk about that, they try to forget the 20th century. Because what do we have in the 20th century? Two world wars, hundreds of other conflicts, and hundreds of millions of people dead. That is the legacy of science, because the nations who did that were the foremost leaders in science in a... Did science do that? No. So I just want you to know the opposite of that is, is when atheists um, go around um, claiming that... Um, all wars are uh, re religion is responsible for wars, uh, which is actually not true. And all, all I mean, it's it's not even. Um, how do I say this? Um, held in uh, that closed-minded box. Like I mean, yes, the thing is. You can have a religious war against evil, against the people of evil. Um, the thing is, is that when people um, do fight in a war in the name of religion, religion can only be right, by the way. And as only religion is the opposite of sin. OK, religion is basically uh, laws of the good conscience. Um that is against evil and wrong. That's what religion is. Now, yes, of course, there are societies like the Catholics and the Muslims and all these things, the Tal Talmudians or whatever, uh, Buddhists, whatever the case may be, who claim to be a religion to assert what they believe as a an authoritative power. Okay? So, obviously, it, no matter what you do, if you sit there and claim that your evil is a religion, which is the manipulation tactic, usually, um, especially mainly done by, like, the Catholics, um, who persecuted Christians because of the Christian religion. Christian religion, it cannot be bound by any society, so you can't sit there and say, well... How do I say this? Um, um, like that. Okay, it's sort of like when these people sit there and say, well, you know, uh, that's the Christian religion because, you know, of that society or that group or that building or whatever is held in that church and because they claim God, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, I'm going to go on. Um, the thing is, it's just like, I mean, they, 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 you know, they, ha they, they have deliberately brought an illusion what religion is. And uh, I do have an original insightful commentary that is quite accurate, makes it simple. And I teach because... Of course, I'm like, you know, nobody can own the Christian religion. And it, these churches just didn't make any sense to me. Um, why? Because they're irreligious. They're basically, um, well, against religion. Religion is anything that is right. <laughs> Laws of good conscience. So the thing is, is that um, my whole thing is like, nobody can own a religion. So with that... Um, I also teach, which is also original insight, that religion is in everyone. And of course, they have brought so much illusions of what falsely of what religion is. When people hear the word religion or God or Christian, they connect it to, well, what they've been brainwashed to believe is that that church society is the Christian religion. Like, oh, the Catholic church is the Christian religion or that is the Christian religion. And some may even deny that Christianity is a living religion and try to pit religion against Christianity. And it's just like, okay, um, so what you're saying, like Christianity is sin. That's what you're saying. Christianity is sin. 
Sin is the opposite of religion. So I've been trying to make this point as I actually have been, oh, attacked for my religion for preaching, well, Christianity's true knowledge against their false knowledge. So, um, uh, yeah, of course. And so what you, so yeah, basically you are preaching sin. So I'm going to go on. It's scientism that is apart from anything to do with the existence of God. Notice this quote or this description of this. Uh, many people believe science is an unstoppable force for human development that will deliver answers to our many questions about the universe and solve many, if not all, of our human problems, disease, energy, pollution, poverty. At some stage in the future, science will be able to explain everything, answer all our needs. My friends, that is a promise of salvation. Now, that is a physical all right, no, for, I mean, regardless of these people are atheists or whatever the case may be against religion and all these other things or whatever, um, like I said, nobody can own religion. Nobody can own science. You also can't sit there and separate somebody from basically claiming, oh, you're not scientific, you're not religious, you're not religious, or you're just not right, okay? Oh, because you claim uh, not to believe in God or... Um, and I'm not talking about disbelief in God or whatever, which is a direct willful, uh, rejection, everything that is right or whatever, you know? Um, but the thing is, is, um, uh, I'm sorry. So, um, uh, you know what? All right. Let me just finish the statement. So the thing is, it's just that he, he has displayed, and I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to go over it or not. It, it should be coming up here where he sits there and makes his claim and he's so arrogant. Okay. And he says, um, well, you may have your interpretation uh, of science, but he, he, then he says that his interpretation is going to be different. He automatically and just prejudicially claimed that he has a better interpretation than science itself because he claims to be Christian. He is actually an enemy of Christianity. Um, there's nothing about him whatsoever that is Christian. Um, but I um, mean, he's very unintelligent, undiscerning, and very, very ignorant. So I'm going to go on. Very prejudiced. Recognize that for what it is. They're promising salvation through science, and yet they have yet to deliver on any of their promises. So science, really? Um, he just got done saying that he basically his life was saved by well science. That was his physical life. Okay, and basically, uh, f uh physical science, physical nature uh science save people spiritually uh no but the thing is there is a spiritual reflection in laws of nature okay and yes you can learn from science he's going to speak against that i'm going to go on uh spiritual things by the way uh, like jesus has expressed like he his statements is basically speaking against jesus who used scientific uh reflections or whatever to explain spiritual things like I said, how when Jesus said, how can I um, um, tell you um, spiritual things if you cannot understand um, earthly things? Okay, as he uses the physical birth uh, reflecting spiritual birth. Okay. So notice some of the limits of science. You might you might be a scientist in here. All right, here we go. One slide. Good. You might be a scientist. You might think, uh, Mark, you're sounding very negative towards science, and please don't hear me as that. I, I think science is a one thing. But there are those who have overconfidence in science, who believe it can do far more than it can. <coughs> I'm going to talk very quickly about seven limitations of science. The first one is this. Science can only address the material world. Science cannot address the immaterial world, God, the soul, spiritual realities. It's like... Well, Jesus said that it can't. So he just delusionally made this up, and he's also speaking against Christianity. Someone who can only see black and white telling you, I don't see any color, so I think you're making up color. I think so he's the one that basically has already expressed he only sees black or white. Oh, I'm sorry. He's going to reflect that greatly when he sits there and says, oh, well, because you claim science and not God, he's automatically right because he claims God or whatever. That actually be some kind of a distortion. Um, basically things are only, uh, black or white 
type deal. I mean, it can't even be fit in that. I don't even know what it is. I'm going to go on. Color is a fiction. I think you're so weak in this world that you have to have color uh, to get through. It's a crutch for you, but there is no such thing. The problem is the limitations of that person, not their nature of reality. And when science says that there is no God, there is no soul, they're really outside of their ability to talk into Does science say that there is no God and there is no soul? No. Here's another limitation of science. All science data must be interpreted. That is what he said a limitation of science. Uh, uh, sorry, he is limited, by the way. Just, yeah. I think he looks through a microscope, through a telescope, runs an experiment. He has to see what <coughs> is and then decide what is the <coughs> interpretation of this. I have a nephew who's a doctor up in Wilmington and he's in college. He spent a summer at the Cleveland Clinic doing studies, and they were studying the protein in pond scum. And he spent the entire summer studying the protein in pond scum and to see if it had any medical, uh, medical applications. And at the end of the summer, the determination was this protein has no purpose for uh, medicine. That's the way science is, science is often done. But in other words, you look at the data and you have to apply an interpretation. The unbeliever is going to look at the data of science and say, this has come about through time and chance. The Christian looks at that and says, everything I observe in the natural world is either testimony of God's design and his glory or a testimony of the, the fall. So, so, you know what? That's kind of cut out, so I'm not sure. I'm going to actually wind that. It has to be interpreted, which First of all, is either testimony of on. God's design and his glory or a testimony of the curse of the fall. So, so um, the only way people are repeating the design of the curse of the fall, by the way, which would not be response to what he's saying. He's not even lining up uh, properly, um, no, uh, true knowledge, uh, rightly. Um, but the thing is, is that nobody uh, spiritually, or how do I say this? Uh, or scientifically is going to respond to that and say, oh, you have a, a testimony of like, oh, because of the design of curse of the fall or whatever, and this is why, um, you know, uh, I guess there, th there's doctrines in regards to um, um, how do I say this? Um, People say it in different ways. I'm just trying to focus on it. Um, I don't know. Do I have brain fog yet? <laughs> um, yeah. So the, th the thing is, they basically, you know, um, talk about like the generational curse, if you will. OK. Um, and the thing is that, you know, they falsely claim that, oh, babies are born sinners and they have to be saved and things like that. Or whatever. These th teachings are not biblical. Now, the thing is, I do believe because that mankind uh, that we all die, we all are start to die, actually, uh, from the day we are born. So, um, yeah, that's what happens. And um, so we age, we continue to age until we die or our flesh, if you will. So the thing is, yes, in that manner, you know, I believe that in, 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 uh, the curse of the fall, but none of these churches actually teach that they teach some other false doctrine. But the thing is, people are not going to be thinking about it in regards to, it's like, I mean, can that basically be obtained? It all depends how you obtain, uh, how information is uh, perceived. Like when people sit there and say curse, like that could have different meanings for different people. Um, it could be because people do evil or, or whatever the case may be. Uh, you know what? Ah, I'm going to be actually not going to get to my other part. I'm going to have to do another part two. Um, ha ha. Um, but I, let me continue this. So the thing is, he's actually not even making it lining up a rightful comparison. And he is, um, claiming, oh, compared to science, they're going to say that for a testimony. That's, that has nothing to do with a testimony of Jesus Christ. Of course, this church, they went all on ranting about testimony of Jesus Christ, and they have no idea even what that is. Um, so, and pretending they're speaking against those who, you know, um, uh, it's a disgrace to the testimony of Jesus Christ, by the way. Whatever their rules are, that actually is, well, against Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
So I'm going to go on. Science has to be interpreted, which means that I never have to fear as a Christian what scientists might find and then say, oh, this upends my faith. No, I, I can agree with them on what they find, but my interpretation is going to differ for a good reason. So how's your interpretation must- going to differ? So science is science, by the way. And you can use science to reflect spiritual things, but interpretation of science is not going to differ against interpretation of science. Your misinterpretation is already um, differed against science and because you are wrong. Because science can only be, well, true knowledge. Or it's not science. Okay? So... Um, I'm actually going to put that in the beginning of my next video, but um, that that it, it, this is very arrogant and ignorant and against Christianity, what this guy is doing. Let's regularly revise and rescind its pronouncements, right? The way science is done is the more information comes in, science changes its, its statements. Remember when COVID first came out? Not to politicize anything, but masks are useless. That was the initial thing. And then the more study they did, they said masks are necessary. Uh, this happens all the time. Uh, how many of you ever eat kale? Anybody eat kale? Okay, I have a kale smoothie most days. Remember what- so his comparison, again, is not even a logical comparison. And the thing is, is that... Um- He's sitting there, first of all, I'm sorry, just because somebody didn't have knowledge, like, you know, uh, masks are useless or, or now it is, uh, it, it's useless. You don't sit there and claim because somebody who is acclaimed like scientist or doctor, because they make a statement, if it's false, that automatically, oh, it's because oh, science changes. Science didn't change. Okay, so the only thing that could be that could be science is the right decision. So I'm going to actually end with that, but I'm going to actually pick up on a part two, um, putting this in the begin more in the beginning and continue from there. So this guy um, is not Christian, by the way, um, and he's not scientific, and he should never be a professor, by the way. And it's obvious that I mean, from what he's expressing, I mean, I, I don't even know how he has a high school education, but then again. Look at the kind of people that are actually graduating from high school with all kinds of delusional false ideologies and false science and false knowledge and things like that. And they actually try to claim that how their their ways are better than a public school system or their, their false education or whatever. And they're actually no different. OK, there's nothing that distinguishes him any different than the ignorance that is being taught in school. OK, so I'm going to end with that and I'm actually going to continue in my other video. I am going to bring into uh, my other video about my discussions in regards to the Big Bang and uh, evolution. OK, so I'm ending with that.